What's going on, Ruby Squad? It's your boy Ruby Dragon over here, and guys, today we have another epic Bakugan unboxing for today because we're gonna be taking a look at what I thought was going to be an anime exclusive Bakugan, but apparently they've been switching it up really well. Apparently, and we're supposed to be getting some more uh, Bakugan that are in the anime, apparently with season four. But taking a look at Arliss Oratoa, guys. So this Bakugan is like a golem Bakugan, and it's really, really awesome looking with the uh, the details that it has on its chest and everywhere else. Um, definitely a really cool looking Baga. I was really, uh, shocked when they actually said, oh yeah, it's getting released. I'm like, huh. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully we get some other cool Baga that we missed out in the, um, the very first season of, uh, Battle Planet, like, Apollyon and freaking Tico. And then, I mean, heck, we're getting Leonidas here, uh, freaking soon. I cannot wait for that. You know, definitely when I, when I see that set, I'm definitely getting it. Take a look at the back of the box here, guys. We have a nice picture of Arotoa there. We do get, of course, get one character card, one gate card, and two Bakugan cores. This does, of course, was in this part of the set that has Pyrus Jetra and um, Elemental Spartillion and Diamond Villock, which I'm very, very excited to uh, check those guys out. Um, I did happen to find uh, Pyrus Jetra. We'll be looking at him in the future here. But let's go ahead and get this guy open and just see how awesome he really is. All right, guys, so here we have Arliss Orotoa out of the packaging, and I just got to say, this guy's a beefy dude, like, for real. So, guys, we're going to start off with the cores that we get with this Bakugan, and we get some pretty awesome cores. We do get a uh, double helix core with 303, which isn't too bad. It's not the 600 minus 3, which would have been a lot better, but he only has 3 damage on his card, so this will at least add another 300B power boost plus 3 more damage to him, which is really not that bad. Next, we have the all-powerful 650B Magic Shield, guys. This is the strongest Magic Shield that we can get as of right now. And if he rolls on this Magic Shield, he will be up to 1350. Because he gets a whopping 700B power and 3, which is amazing. <clears throat> Very strong Bakugan. Brings in that Magic Shield and, of course, the Double Helix, as I mentioned before. Unfortunately, no extra effect, so he might get an Epic Character card here soon. Um, that's if they still continue with them and everything, but nonetheless, looking really, really awesome as he is charging towards the camera or the person or the, I don't know. <laughs> here we have a nice picture of Nobilius here. I believe this is Hypermint Nobilius from what I can recall, giving a huge boost to Pyrus with 600 and an okay boost to Darkus and Arliss, and then, and all, again, another okay boost to Chaos, but, uh, uh, Ventus and Aquas get the worst of it, only getting 100 B power. So yeah, another nice picture there. And then I'm taking a look at Orotoa here, guys. He has those, again, those early cool uh, markings there. Definitely giving me a, um island, like Hawaiian island vibe with that, which is really, really awesome. And he definitely has that nice little, like, ch um, armor that goes around the back right there. Really looking really cool. Again, I love Arliss Bakugan just for the fact that they add like this metallic shine to the silver and gold paint that they use to him. Arliss symbol right there. Let's get this guy rolled out and just see how awesome he looks in Bakugan form. Alright guys, so here we have Orotoa in his Bakugan form. And he, like I said, he looks really, really awesome, you guys. Definitely a very simplistic Bakugan to say the least. Um, I really like him. I dig him. Uh, he just has that single spring mechanism like Cubbo and Farascal does, except he has more of a uh, bigger and bulkier body than they do. Um, little head pops up just like that. And like I said, he has that little spring action right there, which is really, really cool to see. But yeah. Got that really nice design right there. They added the black paint right there in his body right there to give a little bit more of an accent color as well to go along with that nice gold and silver and that kind of like a caramel bronze or whatever you want to call it there. Definitely a really awesome looking Bakugan and a very strong one nonetheless. There is his B power right there at 700 B power. So yeah guys, that's going to do it for Arlos Orotoa here. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also guys, let me know if you added Orotoa to your collection either in Arlos or in any other faction color. And also, guys, don't forget to hit that beautiful, beautiful password subscribe button because it means the world to me. And it means you guys join the most epic squads in the entire Bowgon community, the Ruby Squad. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night.